right, dude, where are you taking me? We're obviously here, right? This is it. Okay, so again, you know, driving for hours, you haven't told me anything. What is this place? How about we step outside and I'll explain everything. Okay. Uh, oh no. This is another library. This is another library. I have been specially requested to arrive at this library because we are looking for something very, very special. We are looking for a newspaper article. I've done this before in the past. Libraries like this normally have records of local newspapers that have been published around the town and they just keep the history of whatever's going on around here. Now, the reason why we are here is because I got a special message on Instagram from, I'm guessing, a fan. Guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. If you have any ideas on where I should go next or want to tell me about special places like this person did here you gotta follow me there i also post like really really cool pictures sometimes here and there so follow me there anyways let's get into the message that i received the other day so this is from a fan that goes by the name of willow and he says i don't know if you'll ever read this i am reading this but i have a job that i know only you can do and i need your help before it's too late there is this thing a spirit or demon that has been haunting my family for generations every single year during the winter months. You see, I live in a beautiful mansion that has been with my family for a really long time. And these past couple years have been not the best. Every year, when the temperatures outside start to drop, the paranormal activity starts to get worse and worse. So bad to the point where I've lost all three of my children to this spirit. For the past three years, each of my kids have disappeared in the middle of winter, never to be seen again. And it's the spirit. I know it. There's something that it wants from me. I just don't know what it is. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, but I've seen things that people can never explain without seeing them for themselves. I need your help because winter is approaching quickly and things are starting to happen. And guys, he is not uh, lying about this. The trees are changing color. It is starting to get winter. So it's starting to check out so far. I just want your help so I can finally understand what it wants. I know you may not believe any of this, but if you're interested, there is a library in the town near my place with a news article on the disappearance of my kids. And this is the one. I guess. This is the library. Guys, he goes and says, go there, ask for the article on the Willow House. If anyone asks any questions, just say you're a good friend of Adriana Willow, if this interests you, contact me and we will arrange a time for you to stay at the mansion. You'll be able to stay there for a long time or as long as you like. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. So there's the message. That's pretty intense. So I read that and I was like, it's a little too detailed to seem like he's faking it. And I talked to him a little bit and he gave me the address to this library right here. And like he said, we are looking for an article about the Willow House. And if anyone asks any questions... Say we're like a friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said before, guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram and send me ideas of what I should do in the future, follow me there. What do you think, Nick? Should we go inside? I think we should go inside. I'm excited to check this out. <sighs> Hopefully this article is here, guys. Maybe we'll get a little bit more details on what the hell is going on at this mansion. But for right now, let's try to find this thing. Pretty dead around here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, never many. mind. There's actually oh. someone right there. <laughs> I was just about to say, not many people uh, going to libraries these days. Yeah, right. I used to go to libraries and play Yu-Gi-Oh. Fun fact. Really? Yeah, I was one of those kids. I uh, I would always go to them like rent manga out and stuff because I couldn't uh, afford to buy it myself. So. Nice. Did you take the cards from the mangas? Uh, no. I. No, never. me neither. I would never do yeah, that. Never. Who would do that? Y you have a mask, right? I think I forgot it. Do I have to go get you one? Yeah. Please. I'm All sorry. Right. All right. I didn't know. You didn't tell me where All we right. were going. I thought we were getting food. I was hungry. You still gotta wear a mask when you go get food, no, bro? No, like drive through man. Oh, you, my you, God. You, you gotta warn me, man. All right, you stay here. Okay. I'll go get you a mask. Yep. Hopefully nothing bad happens to you. Okay. All right, bye. I'll just wait here, I guess. Bye. 
So we are currently at the temporary entrance. Apparently the rest of this place is closed for some reason. So we're gonna try to go inside. I'm not exactly sure if we're allowed to film. So we're gonna try to keep this as low key as possible. If they do tell us to turn it off, I might have to pull out my iPhone. Hopefully we don't have to do that. So let's go on inside and let's find this news article. All right, we're going uh, stealth mode. Bravo six, Here we going go. dark. Dude, what are you doing? What? Are you coming? Uh, hold on, hold on, one sec, one sec. One sec, what are you doing? Dude, I'm playing MPL. What? Oh, oh, you're on your, oh, okay. You mean the sponsor for today's video? That's right guys, I have found an awesome app called Mobile Premier League, also known as MPL. Now keep in mind, if you want to use this app, you got to be 18 plus. So if you're under 18, go to this timestamp below. But if you are over 18, stick around because you're going to want to hear about this. Now with MPL, you can play dozens of your favorite games like Solitaire, Pool, Fruit Shop, and many more. Now the unique thing about this app is you can play these games and earn real life money. You heard that right, you can win legitimate cash. I never thought I'd see the day where I could play a mobile app and still make money off of it. And yet, here I am. Now, one of the games that I mentioned before, Fruit Shop, is actually one of my favorite games that I've been playing recently. Just the other day, I was playing this game against someone and I was able to beat them, got my money, and instantly I was able to transfer the money into my PayPal and my bank account. Super, super easy. Not only is this app very, very fun to play, they're also very competitive. Because you're playing for real money, people on here are trying to get the money as well. So if you're a competitive person like I am, you're gonna love this app. Now, if you have a lot of friends, you could also refer this app to anyone else. MPL is offering you a free $20 bonus when you refer this to any of your friends. All you need to do is get your friends to download the app. So go to your app store today, download it for iOS, or if you'd like, check the link in the description box below. You could also download the app on their website, mpl.us. The app is absolutely free on both platforms. And if you click on my link in the description below, you will get a $5 entry bonus. That's right, you'll get $5 for free just for signing up. So what are you guys waiting for? Get the app, come play with me, come play some pool, fruit shop, whatever you're into. Once again, click my link in the description below. Come play some games, let's have some fun, and let's win some money. So back to the video. Oh my god, look at this. Alien? Ooh. Oh, it's not the alien we know. Never mind. No, this is the OG alien. Alien took the idea from this. <laughs> from this. Guinea coach. <gasps> We're in a oh, library, right? Oh, guys. Oh, okay. there we go, alien isolation. Oh, perfect. This is why we're here, guys. We want to get onto the, what's the ship called? I don't remember. It's oh. You know, with Ripley's uh, daughter. Yeah, whatever ship she was on, that's the next series. <laughs> okay guys, so um, I just talked, I just talked to the front desk and the article that we are looking for, she said we could only ask um, the other desk at the back end, so we're gonna go there and see what's up. Hi. Hi. Hey. Um, yeah. Uh, do you guys uh, give out newspapers? Like, uh, like if I'm looking for a certain article. Do you know which one? Um, I'm looking for an article on the Willow House. You guys have that? Sure. Let me see if sure. I can find it. I'm sorry. Oh no, it was, I'm just uh, friends with Adriana Willow. Oh, so just a family friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just give me one second. I'm sorry, why, why? What, is that we important? We only have those articles in the restricted section. Oh, really? Restricted. Let me just quickly go grab your newspaper. Okay, thank you. They're gonna go get the the article, but bro, it's from the restricted area, bro. Really? I didn't even know how libraries had that. That's so weird. Like, maybe that's why he like said that we have to mention that we were friends or something. If anyone asks any questions, yeah, she's like, like, why, why do you want this article? I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just like friends, right? And then weird, restricted dude. area. Oh, she's coming. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. And do I have to bring this back? Okay. Okay, this is what we got, guys. Um, Father of Three blames ghost for children disappearance. That's 
pretty heavy. Holy hell. Okay, well, um, so she gave me two. Uh, so the guy didn't mention anything about the second article, but we'll go through both of them, guys. Hopefully we're not too loud. So let's see. On December 7th, my birthday, Andrew Willow, a seven-year-old boy, disappeared in the middle of the night and has yet to be found. His disappearance was reported by the mother the following morning when she realized the boy's room was empty. Search and rescue teams have been on a lookout for days and have found no trace of the boy. Strangely enough, this isn't the first time the tragedy has struck the Willow family. In 2018, her oldest son, Brandon Willow, disappeared in the middle of the night with no trace of where he could have gone. In 2019, the night before Christmas, her second oldest son went missing as well. So far, all three disappearances have yet to be solved. However, when our journalists got a word with the Willow family to talk about their thoughts on the sudden loss of Andrew Willow, here's what he had to say. I've been saying this for years. This mansion is haunted by something demonic. Whatever it is has something to do with all of this, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. Gordon Willow, that's the guy who messaged me. It's the same dude? He's an act. I'm saying he's a fan. Look, he's like an old guy. I mean, if any of you guys are like in the 90s or 80s, like, you're, you're still cool. <laughs> Authorities haven't found any reason to suspect paranormal activity as the main cause of the disappearances and have said that this is still an ongoing investigation. The Sheriff's Department mentioned earlier this week that they have no reason to suspect the Willow family. However, they are still going to be questioned as the investigation goes further. And then that's where that one cuts off. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty crazy. Man. That's, that's pretty heavy, man. Like the guy is saying... Three of his kids have been disappearing because of this demonic spirit in the mansion. Authorities are saying that it might not be. So I don't know what to believe here, but I mean, there's there's something here. He's saying he's asking yeah. for our help to make sure nothing bad happens again. So what do you think? Should we should we even consider this? Like I think I sh we should because yeah. like you know, best case scenario is something paranormal. And we could like help legitimize this thing. And yeah. Obviously, if he's making it all up and it's actually like kidnaps his uh his own children or whatever like we mm. can prove that that's so, true so it's a win-win um but why restricted section i don't know maybe that's more like because it's obviously like a, an investigation or something so uh-huh he went in like one of the doors like it literally had like a try to show like a little clip of it um but like the door's like locked it says no access so there is a restricted section I know, right? Like, don't go in the restricted section at 3 a.m. <laughs> Let's check out the other article we have here. What's it say? Um, it's just a small piece. It says turmoil within the Willow family. So that's the same family here. The famous Willow family, who famously owns the Willow Mansion, has unfortunately ended. As of February 3rd, Gordon and Adriana Willow have filed a divorce and will be parting ways. Ultimately, the decision was made by the now ex-wife of Gordon Willow, saying that he has officially lost his mind. Okay. What the hell? Mr. Willow has since denied all these claims and has mentioned the loss of their children has been really hard on them. A few months ago, the Willow family lost their third child to unknown causes, although Mr. Willow has said that it is due to paranormal activity. And that's it for that. So this is the newer article. I wonder why he never mentioned. I mean, I guess this person's literally claiming that he's officially lost his mind. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna try to be quiet. Some of this. Yeah, right. I don't even know what to make of this. Is this is this guy telling the truth then, or has he like, like you said, he might have kidnapped his kids? Yeah, it could be both. Like it's happening again. Like, that's really, really sus. <laughs> yeah. That's pr if there's anything sus about it. Um, definitely has something to do with it. that person just went in the restricted section I think he just like walked in I don't know if he works here <laughs> dude I'm scared of the freaking conference okay um well I think we got what we came for um I'm gonna try to give this back to her and then uh we'll try to like make a decision on what we should do okay I'll just wait here too. yeah okay return the paper I'm thinking there is some side to the story that is legitimate. This guy is saying that his kids are going missing and he's asking for our help. The little sketchy, 
What do you think? Should we do this? I think so, man. I think it's, again, a win-win. You know, we either prove him innocent and find something paranormal or prove him guilty and then, like, his kids get actual justice kind of deal. Do you so, think we could even... Like, what would we even find? Like, his kids are missing, right? Like, will we oh, maybe find the children that went, that went missing? I don't know. I'm just assuming if we don't find anything paranormal, then this guy is guilty. Okay. Well, guys, I'm going to try to convince everyone else to come to this. We've never done a haunted mansion on the channel before, or any mansion for that matter. So hopefully I can get a few more details on where the location of this mansion is. If everyone does decide to come on this adventure with me. But with that being said, the next time you'll see us will likely be on the road towards this haunted mansion. I'll see you guys then. And good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. What is up, guys? My name is Hi Mike, and welcome back to the Hypest channel on the internet. Today marks the beginning of the Haunted Mansion series. As you can see right here, it is currently 8.04 in the morning. Now, thankfully, I was able to convince everybody to come on this journey for me, so all I have to do is go wake them up, go pick up Jesse, and then after that, we could be on our way. Today, we have a long, long drive. That is why I'm waking up so early in the morning we got to go all the way to like northern ontario to some like small town it's insane i've also been packing a lot or not really packing just like getting rid of a lot of stuff in my room because if you guys didn't know we are currently moving we are moving to a new place yes so i've been doing a lot of packing and a lot of moving around so it's been a very very busy time so if i haven't uploaded in a long time please forgive me also, if you can't tell, I got a new camera, so it's it's looking pretty fresh, I gotta say. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. It'll make the content much, much better, I find. And also, we might be able to capture a bit more evidence of ghosts, hopefully, because apparently this thing is really, really good in the dark. So there's gonna be a lot of spooky stuff going on. Now, before we actually go on this adventure, I wanna remind you guys to go down below, click on that subscribe button. I'm gonna give you guys five seconds to do that because apparently 25% of you are only subscribed to the channel. The other 75% of you, I don't even know where you're coming from. So if you do enjoy these videos, you gotta press that subscribe button because these videos do follow one another. So if you don't wanna miss out on any of the parts of the series, I'm gonna give you those five seconds right about now. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. Now you're subscribed. Now you're not going to miss out on any of the parts of this Haunted Mansion series. Now all I got to do is go wake up the boys, pack up my bag, and we're going to hit the road. So I'll see you guys there.